What's up guys? So, I'm here with another video. This is one we kind of had requested to do. It's going to be using dumbbells in a band. So, you'll need a pair of dumbbells. And this is the type of band I'm going to use for this video. Okay? To start off with, you need to warm them up. So, everybody knows one of my favorite exercises to warm up with is jumping jacks. So, knock out 100 jumping jacks. Right, you should get it, get nice quick, get a quick sip of water, and you're ready to go. Okay, first exercise you're going to do is we're going to start off with our legs. I'm going to pick up my dumbbells. Okay, I'm going to take a step back, and I'm going to do my lunges. From there, I'm just going to do 10 lunges with the same leg. Okay, so I'm going to lunge 10 times, trying to get as close to the ground as possible without touching. And then, once I do 10, I'm going to hold for 10 seconds. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. Now, when I'm doing those lunges, I don't want to have my back slouched. I want to try to avoid leaning forward or leaning too far back. So what I personally like to do is have my shoulders up, chest up, hands at my hips, and then I take my step back and I keep it a straight line with my hip. So when I lunge, it's a straight line right there. Okay. Now, if you don't have a band, another exercise to do on top of that is hold the dumbbells right here and then just squat. Boom. Boom. Okay? With the band, to do the squat, you got a couple different things you can do. I right, so put your feet in. The wider you put your feet, the harder it's going to be to pull the band. Okay? I, I would say put your feet about shorter width apart and you got a couple different ways you can hold the band. You can hold it right at your chest or even flare out so it's held here. Okay? And then from there, I'm just going to do squat. Boom, making sure I don't lean forward or far back, right? Weight on my heels, toes up, sitting back in the chair. Right there, okay? When I'm doing it, I want to make sure my knees don't come in. They go out and back up, okay? So with that, you're going to do your dumbbell lunges 10 times each leg and then hold, or 10, 10 on one leg and then hold for 10 seconds. Then do the other leg. Right after that, hit your dumbbell squats or your band squats and do that for three to five sets. Okay? Everything we're doing today is going to be three to five sets. Next one, dumbbell rows. So when I do this one, I'm going to kind of turn to an angle. We're going to do bent over rows. Okay? So I'm going to have my dumbbells. I'm going to bend at my hips. Right? I want to bend at my back. I'm going to bend at my hips, slightly bending my knees right here. Okay, now from there, I'm going to keep my hands straight out. I'm going to do 10 all the way back without twisting, staying strong. 10 on one arm, 10 on my other arm, and then 10 on both. Okay, from there, I can either, if I only have dumbbells, I can do presses, so my hands might get cut out here, but here and press. Boom. Right, five on one side, five on the other, and then ten. Okay? With the band, a couple different options. Right? I can either hook it on the other knob on the opposite side of the door and pull it through, or put the band in my feet. Okay? One foot for less tension, two feet is going to be best. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Right? But I'm going to bend down, I'm just going to. Go here, get my attention, do 20 rows with the band because it's a little bit different resistance. Okay. Next one, we're going to hit our triceps. So same thing, I'm going to be in the same position I did my rows. Bend down, elbows just past my ribs, and I'm going to strain it and twist. And then straighten and twist. So do 10 on one side. 10 on the other side, and then 10 with both. Making sure I'm not leaning forward. If my back starts to hurt and I have to come here, that's fine, but I still want to go straight out and try to stay as flat as possible. Okay? If I, do, if I don't have a band, go ahead and work your shoulders. So here, straight up. You can even turn it here. Okay? I don't want to swing, and I don't want to go too much higher than my nose. I just want to go straight up and back down. Alright, that one, depending on the weight, I would say 10 to 20 reps. On shoulders, you shouldn't go too heavy. Now, 
split the band in option for your triceps. Take the towel, fold it, try to find as close to the middle as you can, loop it through, okay? Found this on YouTube. Alright? Stick it through the door, close the door. Now right here, I've got the band for my triceps. So from right there, I'm going to go down and then come up slow. Down, same rotation as before, right? Coming down and rotating out, and then up 10 to 20 times, okay? Depending on what resistance you have on everything. All right. After that, we're going to hit our curls, okay? So start off with supinating curls, so I'm going to come up and then twist, okay? When you do this, don't lean into it, okay? If you start leaning into it, either drop the weight or stop that set, right? But I'm going to come up nice and close and rotate out, up and rotate out, okay? So do 10, one arm, 10, the other arm, and then both. Try not to clang the dumbbells, right? You kind of see a theme going there. Now, from there, if I don't have a band, I can go here, work my shoulders a little bit. Now, even if you have a band, still do these two, you'll get good exercise and you'll get some extra shoulders in, right? And I'm gonna do my side raises. Same thing, I don't wanna swing, right? And I don't wanna twist down too much. Okay, I can even stay right here if I want, if that feels better on your shoulders. Otherwise, Right here, turning it flat. Okay? With the band, again, just use your feet. You can use the door if you want to. You would kind of do it like you did with the triceps, stick it under and pull. But here, again, one foot, less resistance, two feet more. Right? And then, same thing as the triceps. I'm going to contract and then release nice and slow. Contract. Release nice and slow. When I do this, again, I want shoulders down. I want chest back. Elbows tight. And it's going to be more like a regular curl. Just turn my palm here. Right? If you struggle with the turn, then just do more like a hammer curl. But don't let your elbows move. Right? Focusing on that bicep. So come up and go down. All right? 10, 10, and then 20 on the superset. All right? Once you get through everything, so once you do three to five sets, Everything do 10 on one side, 10 on the other side, and then 10 with both, or 10, 10, and then hold. So that's another thing you can do with the dumbbells. Go here, hit your 10, hit your 10, come up and hold for 10 seconds. Okay? And then hold it. Do three to five sets of each, go through that, and then you can do your other exercises. Do three to five sets of 20 push ups. So say your goal is to hit 100 push-ups this workout, right? Or 100 push-ups in a day. Do that, right? So hit three to five sets of 20 push-ups. And then, of course, we've got to work our core. So I challenge you to try to get three to five minutes of planking, but break it up. Do one minute, take 15 to 30 seconds. I would say more of 15 seconds. And then do another minute, right? If you have to increase that rest as you do it, that's fine. Just knock that out, three to five sets of one minute on planks, good old fashioned planks. You can either do here in push-up position or on your forearms, all right? So guys, try it out. Let us know what you, if you did the workout, how it felt. Let us know if there's another request similar to what we did today, okay? We're gonna be doing more workouts, uh, body weight exercises, jiu-jitsu ones, kickboxing ones. We're gonna be kind of releasing a little bit of everything during this downtime. So stay active, keep posting with us, keep commenting, let us know when you got it done, how it felt and what you thought, and then if you got a request, thank you.